Today, we're gonna compare the cameras on iPhone 13 versus the new iPhone 14. Let's do a quick microphone test. Testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on iPhone 13. Testing one, two, one, two. This is what it sounds like on iPhone 14. On outside, they both look so similar. Pretty much, they look exactly the same thing. But for cameras, the 14 is improved. They do have a bigger sensor and they do have this like new sensor shift stabilization. So basically, it just means that you will get better low light photos and videos. For the front, there is this new truth that camera with the faster aperture, meaning better low light photos, and it does have autofocusing now. Right now, I'm heading to Shake Shack to try out their new Hot One Burgers to see how spicy they are. And after that, I'm gonna head to Krispy Kreme to try out their new churro donuts. Starting off with the front facing camera, on the 14, you can see I'm out of focus. Doing it in video gives you a better visual to see how it works. I'm not too sure how handy this will be, but I do like the improvement. It has to be something very small, but if you're doing a basic selfie or even for video, it's hard to see the difference and you don't really see much of that background blur as much. Also, it does have a fast aperture, so for low light, it should be better. When you're outdoors with or in the city, you don't see much of a difference, but when you're indoors, as I'm taking darker pictures each time, you can see the 14 is cleaner. And for video, it looks very similar. I can barely tell which one is cleaner since they both don't look that great. For the back cameras, ultra wide and wide, they look very similar. I feel like the biggest difference here is the HDR. Sometimes the 14 looks better and sometimes the 13 looks better. So I feel like it really depends on the software. For video, I feel like they're very similar as well. I feel like there's less micro jitters on the 14, but that's really hard to see. And sometimes I feel like the coloring is also a little bit different too. Now doing a max zoom at 5x, I can see a difference on the 14. It's actually cleaner. But if you're just showing this on your phone, then I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. A new addition to the 14 is action mode, which you can easily press and switch resolutions. Max you can do is 2.8K at 30 frames a second, or you can go HD at 60 if you're planning to do some slow motion shots. Shooting it in wide is less of a difference, but if you're shooting in ultra wide, that's where you can see a bigger one. I did experience just by walking, it looks very similar. The only difference here is it's just more cropped in to compensate on the stabilization. The next newest addition is shooting in cinematic mode in 4K 30 max. So if you want the best quality using cinematic mode, then you can finally do it. And it works with the front and back camera. Now I did realize that the cutout on my glasses seems to be a bit cleaner on a new one, so it may be improved. But overall, I can barely see the quality difference in terms of 1080 versus 4K if you're just watching it from a phone. Now this is a very small detail, but if you're zooming in and out from ultra wide to wide, it is much smoother with better animation on the 14. For portrait mode, the biggest difference here that I can see is the coloring, especially on my lips. You can tell that on the 13, it's just a bit more reddish pink than the 14. And it seems like the HDR does keep the coloring of my skin better on the 13, where the 14 looks very cool and dark. But that can be a software thing, just like the coloring and the white balancing. Moving on to the Instagram camera app, the best thing about shooting video is that when you save it, the first few seconds is clean, unlike Androids where there's a lot of pixelation. I do like spicy food, so the burgers itself wasn't too spicy, but adding the sauce on it, the last step, definitely does kick it up a notch. I feel like shooting with the front facing camera, it does slightly better in low light or in the shadows where you can see just a bit more detail and it's a bit cleaner. And for pictures, very similar. I can hardly see a difference. If anything, it's just like the little things where it's a bit better with HDR and the coloring is a bit different. to low light it's very hard to see a big difference when you're out in the city where there's a bunch of lights around and for the most part it looks very very similar just like the front facing camera when i'm moving into darker spots or areas basically taking pictures when all the lights are off indoors that's when you can see a bigger difference but in terms of like 
daily life situations when you're outdoors or outside, it's not a day and night difference. But in this clip, I can see a better or a cleaner image in the shadows. But to actually show it even better is moving indoors where basically all the lights are off. And that goes to saying with pictures, very slight improvements overall, but I feel like if you don't really need the new and improved modes and all the little stuff that the 14 has, then you don't really need the new iPhone 4, the camera upgrade. I will stick with it until the 15 comes out. Maybe USB-C would be out by then and that would be a huge life improvement. But other than that, let me know what you guys think between these two phones. Are you still planning to upgrade? Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.